What's good, y'all? It's Zeb. I'm here with my boy E. We about to answer some questions that y'all sent in. Uh, we about to see what y'all talking about, man. Y'all might be on some weird stuff, so we about to see. See what y'all had to ask. How did the coaching change uh, affect my decision after Coach B left? So, I mean, when Coach B left, it was real unexpected. Uh, my phone was blowing up, obviously. It was crazy. Uh, the fact that no one knew. So, I mean, it was a big hit at first, but my decision to stay came from just my parents telling me to uh, chill out and just see what happens next. Uh, I mean, I'm only a junior, so I was about to be a senior, so I had plenty of time still if I did want to leave. But after hearing about Coach Howard, we really wanted to stay. We thought that was just really cool. I'm um, having him as a coach uh, and just building that relationship. And we already have a really good relationship, um, including me and his sons. Uh, so, I mean, it's a really good situation, really. Nothing much changed. Um, and I'm also still in contact with Coach B a little bit. So I mean, it's a good situation. Uh, it was kind of sad when Coach Dre left, though. I can't say that. That, that hurt. Uh, Coach Yacht leaving, that hurt. but. Uh, I knew I, we still have a great staff. Um, I love them, and I'm excited to go to Michigan. My favorite current NBA player and favorite NBA player of all time. So my favorite current NBA player is definitely Westbrook. Uh, he just real exciting to watch. Um, a lot of highlight stuff like that. You know, you can learn a lot from him um, because I mean, you see how he fills up the stats and stuff like that. So it's, you can learn a lot from him uh, and just how aggressive he plays and. Favorite player of all time, Jordan. Best player of all time, Jordan. I don't want to hear nobody say LeBron, Kobe, Kareem. I don't know what y'all be saying, but Jordan is easily by far the number one player in NBA history. Can you name the Fab Five? Uh, Jalen Rose, Jawan Howard, Jimmy King, but I just lost the game. Chris Webber. Jalen Rose, Jimmy King, Jawan Howard, Chris Webber. Coach Howard, if you see this, I knew four out of five. For all y'all that said who were winning a 1v1, me. Cause like six of y'all said that and it would for sure be me. A lot of y'all, I don't know why y'all asking that. Because y'all know it would be me. And for everybody that said, who better at 2K? Me again. Especially Dez. I want to give a shout out to Dez. Because he know I'm better than him at 2K. I just smacked him on my team. Uh, what made you choose Michigan? Everybody always asks this. Um, what made me choose Michigan was just, the, it felt like it was home for me. Uh, it was an easy choice for me, really. After I got the offer, I was uh, excited for sure, but just feeling like I was at home, getting along with the staff, the players, all that was, it just felt like the perfect fit. Don't go all Hollywood on us in Toledo. but I'm not a Hollywood person. I don't go Hollywood on anybody. I mean, like, I don't know. I'm just not that type of person. If you know me, you know I don't really like to talk about myself like that, so. I just be chilling, bro. Like, y'all don't see me or nothing like that because I just be chilling. The moment I've been most embarrassed in basketball. Um, I mean, everybody gets dropped. I've never been dunked on, and I have no plans on getting dunked on. But everybody gets dropped, I feel like, at one point in their life. Uh, I've been dropped a couple times being younger. Um, but it, there was one time where I got dropped, and I, like, I was trying to, I was backpedaling. And I, somebody like crossed over or something like that. And I tried to stop and my back, like one of my legs kept going back and I kind of did the splits, but that was, that's probably the most embarrassing, but I feel like everybody get dropped. Like, you feel me? That's not too crazy. I'm not on the end, there was nobody taking videos. So I'm not on no highlight tape or nothing like that. What's some a regular person wouldn't know about being a D1 athlete? Um, Probably not not only just the work that it takes, but probably just like I mean, I know at my school, for example, people spend like okay, you do your schoolwork, you go home, do your schoolwork, and then you just have the rest of the day to either do extra in school or 
work extra on whatever homework you had or just chill out. Like as I know in my situation as a basketball player, like my whole day is usually filled. Whether uh, whether I have stuff to do outside of basketball or not, I mean, if I have more free time, then I kind of play more basketball. That's kind of how it works for me. So probably just the amount of time that you have to do other things, uh, people probably wouldn't understand. I mean, a regular person, they just have, when they have free time, it's like actual time to do whatever they want. When I have free time, I have to think about how to use it. Uh, because for me, basketball is, I mean, I'm, that's why I'm going to Michigan. I'm going to Michigan to be a student athlete still so basketball is one of the most important things for me so why are you leaving mommy valley another question a lot of people ask me uh, i'm leaving mommy valley because i just felt it was best for me um my bird is a really good school it helped me prepare for the next level uh academically and in basketball uh, and i i would i want to compete for a national championship so i mean i'm excited to go compete uh play with my guys. Uh, I'm excited to be coached by Coach Boyle, all the whole staff. I mean, it's just, it's an exciting experience to have. And uh, it's just what I felt was best for me. Honest opinion on a Jawan Howard hire, another Michigan question. Um, I love Coach Howard a lot. I think it was a great hire. Um, when he first got hired, me and my dad and my mom, we all thought it was a really good, uh, really good pickup. Um, I talk to him a lot. Uh, we always have good conversations and I'm just real cool with him. So, I mean, I think it was a really good decision. The new coaching staff that he brought in is cool. So I'm excited for it. Can I be EGB a one-on-one? -on -one? Yes, that's easy. That's light work. And no, uh, he be getting his bag though. I don't know if y'all saw the video. Should I pull up the video? I might've pulled up the video. He be getting in his bag. I'm not even gonna lie. He be getting his bag though. I don't know if y'all have seen it, but he getting his bag for sure. So stay woke, but I'll be him on one-on-one -on -one for sure though. That's like player that's giving me the most buckets. I want to say nobody, but probably a uh, player that's giving me the most buckets. I mean, like nobody stick out that just gave me like a like 50 or nothing, but probably somebody like I mean, I can say the hardest person I've had to guard is Rocket. Other than that, I mean, I can't think of somebody that gave me like 50 and I'm like, bro, I cannot guard. Like, he was giving me buckets. Uh, do I have a girlfriend? No, I do not. Uh, I told you I'd just be chilling. That's all it is. If I did, though, even if I did, I probably wouldn't tell y'all because I keep my stuff on the low. But I'm chilling, though. Uh, most points I ever scored in a game, 49. Uh, best game stats wise this past season I had what did I, have? I had 38 15 and 12 so I had 38 points uh, 15 rebounds and 12 steals <laughs> and that's a lot of steals bro but I mean some of y'all probably know our schedule and I wasn't I was trying to get by points you feel me it was just, it was pretty easy to steal the ball, so I did it. That's, I mean, there's no reason for me to take it easy or nothing like that. But yeah, 38, 15, and 12. Who was the best player in high school? I, I'm gonna have to say my boy Cade. I think my boy Cade is going for that number one spot. He deserves it though. Y'all better look out for Cade. What's your go-to ball handling drill? Probably like full court ball handling, just mixing up different combos, stuff like that. Uh, just going up and down the court, really. Two, maybe a couple dribbles in between, just doing combos, stuff like that. What do you think about the Raptors winning the finals? Uh, the Raptors definitely deserved it. One of the biggest things I think is cool about the Raptors winning the finals is that my boy Kawhi is normal now. He was, I think he was faking that whole time to make y'all think he was weird so nobody messed with him and he could just mind his own business. He could mind his own business and just focus, bro. That's all he wanted to do. He wasn't trying to worry about nobody doing an extra. You see, he don't have no IG or nothing. He's just trying to mind his own business. But now he's normal. I think that's the coolest thing about them winning the finals because he might have never been normal if they wouldn't have won. 
What was your first AAU team? Uh, my first AAU team was Team Toledo, uh, around like third grade, um, and we were nice. Fourth grade, we used to have nationals. I don't know if y'all know what that is, but it was like a, like everybody that you know on the circuit was always in nationals when we were little. So uh, we came in eighth place in nationals in fourth grade. We were good, but yeah, Team Toledo. Is Eric going to do a day in life at Michigan? Would be That would be tough. I'm not even going to lie. But I mean, I'm not sure how much he can actually do because there's a lot of rules behind that stuff. But that would be, that'd be pretty tough. Michigan is a cool place. I don't know how much of it y'all been around, but that would be a really cool thing to do. Uh, at what age did you know you want to take basketball seriously? Probably, probably around like, I mean, probably around like third grade, honestly. I mean, I used to work out a lot. Uh, and obviously when you put that much time into something like that, you love it and uh, you don't want that time to just go to waste because you take it serious and then you just fall off and not want to play basketball anymore. Like then it's kind of like you wasted your all, all that time before. So, I mean, I've been taking it serious for a long time, uh, working out serious for a long time. and. I mean, that's part of what's gotten me to the point I'm at. Best high school mixtape of all time. This is a conversation that doesn't have to, you don't have to say much about this. In my opinion, it's a kill car. But I mean, I know a lot of y'all be saying like John Wall, stuff like that. I, I think it's a kill car. That, that, it don't get any better than that, bro. That mixtape is crazy. Can I dance? Yes, but that's not for the public though. If you if you know me, you know I can dance, but I'm not even gonna do nothing right. I would do something right now, but like I said, I mean, you kind of you kind of gotta be close to me to see me dance and stuff like that. But you know, if you know me, you know I can dance a little bit. You know? Not no dancing, dancing, but like the popular dances you see people doing and all that stuff like that. Not no actual dancing. I'm just doing too much. All right, if Zeb follows back, I'll shave my head. Bro, I don't want you to shave your head, bro. <laughs> I'm not got. I don't want you to shave your head, bro. You, you cool. You don't need to do that, bro. Uh, and who am I looking forward to recruiting at Michigan? Uh, I got a little list going on. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, I did some recruiting at the top 100 camp, uh, and it's it's a good amount of kids. Um, I mean. Obviously, you guys know uh, Josh Christopher and Jabri were offered. Damari just got reoffered, uh, so I'm recruiting them. Um, but I also got some other people I'm recruiting: uh, DJ Stewart, um, Jamin Brakefield, Micah PV, Andre Jackson, uh, Cameron Fletcher. Uh, I mean, it's a bunch of guys. So I mean, I'm trying to stack. We trying to stack up at Michigan, and Coach Howard is a big part of that. I mean, he makes it he makes it easy because. Uh, just the way that he recruits, he's been through it and kids love him. So, I mean, we, we working on recruiting for sure.